G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to redo that pull that I just did before, the one that was a bit out of focus, sorry about that. I've put the camera on, well the video on autofocus, so I'll see how that goes. I don't know whether it's going to be like jumping as I'm moving, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll show you one of my previous pulls again, as I always do, well I try to anyway, show you the dried finished product that's it there that was the rose garden and I was trying to do the pale pinks and the pale greens you know and a little bit of brown for the stems and things like that so it reminds me of a rose garden so there it is dried really pretty uh, no problems um, let's jump up here and show you and then I can test out the autofocus as well mm, seems to be good <laughs> seems to be working okay doesn't it the autofocus so there we go that's it there love that one okay back to today's pour and I'm going with the blues again I've taken out that other navy and I've replaced it with this Sort of a turquoise blue. Let's see how they go together. 60% uh, glue, 40% water, and I've mixed them one for one. Basically, just started with 40 grams of pouring medium, 40 grams of paint. Uh, the whites, I have added an extra 10 grams of white paint. This Montmartre. Studio acrylic white. It's really quite a thin paint. Um, I find that once it's mixed in, like it hardly even leaves a mound, and I have to thicken it up. So I add an extra 10 grams of paint. The gold, I don't have gold Montmartre, so I've used the gold in the global. And I've thickened it up this time even more than I did the last time. The last one was two parts paint to one part pouring medium. This is two and a half times paint to one part pouring medium. So we'll see if that's helped. Hopefully it will. Uh, keep our cells nice and round. Spot on treadmill silicone for cells. And again, I'm going to put three drops in each, except for the white and the gold. I just find that the oil doesn't mix in with the metallics. So there's no point doing it, really. It just kind of floats on top. Give those a really good stir. And I'll try and do better with my flip and drags today. <laughs> I think I'll just flip one that way and flip one that way. I might actually have different, slightly different colours in the bottom too, in the cups. I'll just layer them differently. Just, you don't need to do them both the same. I think it's nice to have them different. So I think I'll start with, start with the white. I'll do one cup and then I'll do the next cup, I think. We put a little bit more white in because I did make up an extra 10 grams of white, as I said. So a little bit more to play with. And the gold did still. As I'm tipping like that, it's running fast, even though it's I've thickened it up. I can still feel that it's thinner. Anyway, done now. The only thing I could do is do three to one, but we'll see how it behaves today. More white. And then this turquoisey colour. So I think I'll start with the navy in this one. And then still layer the same, but just have a different colour in the bottom. Actually, I might change that. I change that and put this one next to the gold. <clears throat> to see what it's going to do. And then, oh, goodness me, I'm getting myself all confused. It doesn't take much, I tell you. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so now I want, I don't want white again, so I'm going to put navy on here. Now this is kind of a smoky kind of a navy. It's not a bright navy. It's kind of toned down a little bit. I have to try and recreate it because I'm not sure how I made it. I think I just copied my uh, recipe for when I'm doing the global scuba diver. I think that's what I did, but not quite sure. Okay, um, let's go with the gold again. Because the gold's really pretty against a dark colour. I don't like putting gold, say, next to a white. It doesn't really stand out. It's much better between darker colours, I feel. Mm, now, you've had, you can have this one next. And you can have this one next. I don't think that I don't think they're having the same I don't think they've got the same color in actually I think this one's only got one oh I don't know now I don't think they've got equal amounts doesn't matter all right um, and now some white and then um, now you've got the light blue twice, you've got the light blue once, so let's pop some more light blue on you. I think it's this one that missed out on that turquoise, actually. I think that's what happened. It's always an issue when I try and layer them separately. I forget what I'm up to. <laughs> oh, bit of a deal, aren't I, sometimes? Okay, um, let's just put some more white on top of you. Finish it off. And finish you off as well with the white. Lots of white. I just didn't have as much white as I wanted in the last painting. I thickened it up again this time. The last one I had 40 grams of pouring medium and 45 grams of white. This time I've got 40 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of white so I've thickened the white up. Actually I'm just going to go that way. It's, the canvas is too small to try and get too much movement in it. I made a mess of it last time so I won't even try this time. got the corner catcher ready, got my little tool ready and hopefully the gold will behave and oops I must have squished that, look at that. Hopefully the gold will behave. Let that run down for a, just a few seconds. So that one's got the white on top, that one's got the navy on top. Apart from that, they're pretty much layered the same, I think. So let's see how it goes, hey? Let's do this. Oh, she's sticking. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of white. I didn't think I had that much more paint this time, but goodness, it seems, to, it seems that I've got a lot of paint this time. Now that's more of the colour that I'm wanting. That I'll just tip off. Need some really pretty cells in there. Okay, let's just... Get this paint moving, cover that corner and I'm going to have a line down the centre but that's okay. It's my thing, I should just say that's my thing and be done with it. A signature, <laughs> line down the middle. I guess I, mean, I, I put a little bit more paint in with the white but not a lot. Oh, and then I added more gold as well because I made the gold thicker. So, yeah, I've got a little bit more paint this time around, I guess. I didn't think it was that much. Anyway, let's torch.
there's a lot of white in this one, a lot of white cells coming up. Can't see really much gold at all, there's a little bit there. The gold's looking nicer, like the gold cells are looking nicer. That one there's not, that one's just a big blob. I'll get that off. All right, let's start to tilt. That's why I don't use metallics a lot. I just find that, you know, they just don't give me a, a pretty result, generally speaking. Keep some of these gold ones here on the side for now. Well, maybe not. I don't know that I like those. What do you think? That little bit of gold there doesn't really work, does it? It's just not working. I think I'll get rid of that whole corner there because it's quite dark. I'm preferring this up here, actually. Leave a little bit of the dark there. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> Happier with that. Now, um, I'm going to see if I can get some cells under this white. There's a lot of white there, and I didn't get any up when I torched first. So let's see if I can get any up now that I've stretched it a little bit. Those ones are just going to get tipped off anyway. Up and down, up and down. I'll just take that whole white section off. Leave a little bit there. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Pretty. I'm going to see, that's quite an open area. I'm going to see if I can just move the paint down that way a little bit. Mm. All right, off you go. Now, see, I'm, now I'm overstretching things. Oh dear, look, I've overstretched it. It's always a always problem when you think, I'm just going to go and do that little bit there, and then you overstretch it. But, it's the gold again. Look at the gold, wobbly gold cells. But it was better before I stretched it more. All right, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, the colours better this time, I think. It's a little bit more pale. I think I probably just need to do it without the gold. I don't know why I want gold in there. Let's just fix this corner. So yeah, a little bit overstretched there on that corner. And I did want to get that corner off, but now I don't know whether or not it was worth the risk, hey? Eh? You gotta weigh up whether it's worth it. Going for another corner. It's generally not. Generally not a good thing to do. <laughs> so if you're undecided, just probably don't because you can overstretch things then. Okay, a little bit of, oh, dear oh dear. Just not my day today. Trying to reach from over on the other side of the table. Okay. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I don't think I can really get any more off there. I'm going to pop a few little cells there just to sort of disguise that corner. Just open them up just a little bit. Have to 
to move the canvas just ever so slightly just to open up those cells if you've torched again. So there you go. What do you think of that one? I like the colours. I like how we've got this sort of the greeny turquoise. We've got the pale blue. Still got a little bit of navy. Got quite a bit of white, which is nice. So this one's obviously lighter than that half, which is nice. Um, yeah, the gold doesn't do anything for me. I mean, I've thickened it up. Still getting wobbly gold cells. These ones down here aren't too bad. Those gold ones. Um, but these ones, as you can see, they're really quite overstretched there. So, well, hopefully that's taught you a, a little bit about metallics anyway, about working with gold paint. Um, sometimes it's easier, like if you like that particular colour, just pick something that's that colour. You know, like a, maybe a Naples yellow or um, um, what, like a raw sienna, but then dull it down with some white and just make like a really pale colour that matches the gold. I think you'd probably be happier with it. Um, so that was the one that I did earlier. It was darker, had more blue in it, had the two navies in it. And then that one I took one navy out and replaced it with a turquoise. I think they still match quite nicely as a little pair. Put them next to each other. I think you could still hang them together. and do that without sticking my fingers in them. They look quite nice as a pair, don't they? I, I actually, I actually prefer this one. And I think it's only because I've overstretched this corner. But I know I wanted pale, but now that I look at it, I think I like this one better with the more navy. But as I said, they, they, they're nice together. They will look pretty together. Now, let me see if we're still focusing. Yay, we're still focused. Is it still focusing? I think it is. I think I fixed the issue. Turn on my autofocus. There we go. I don't need to take you down, do I? Do you want to be taken down? And have a little look. See how it jumped back like that? It's I think it's working, it's auto-focusing. All right, I'll just take it down real quick. It's such a shame that I overstretched that top corner. If I could take it back, I would, but I can't. What if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Okay. So that was the first one with the more navy in it. And this is the second one. Really love this corner here. Really pretty, that corner. Not so much the, that corner. Let's not look at that corner. We'll just pre pretend it's not there. These cells are really pretty over here. These gold ones are holding their shape, which is nice. And see, I had to make that two and a half times paint to one part pouring medium just to get them to hold their shape like that. And then over here, well, I've overstretched it, but that was my fault. That's not the paint's fault. That was my fault because I thought, oh, I'm just going to take that corner off and I shouldn't have. Let's move this out of the way. You don't want that in frame. Okay, so there they are, the two of them. Which do you prefer? I'm thinking I like the darker one. Uh, so anyway, I think I'm done with these colours for a little while. Sort of try some colours and then do them a couple of times and then move on. So I think I have another colour scheme. Uh, these two are still sitting under the net drying. That was like one of my favourite, favourite paintings, that one there. Love it. Under the net. And... The Smoky Mountains drawing beautifully under the net. Oh, 
almost dry. So there you go. I like to have airflow, so I just have them under a big food net so that the bugs don't get on them. And uh, here we go, back to these two. All right, I will say goodbye and thank you ever so much for watching, as usual. And um, I will see you for the next one. Okay, bye for now.